Today, my brother and I are going to make a quick stop at Trinity College in Dublin and check out its famous library, the Book of Kells, and the oldest surviving harp in Ireland. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. Modeled after Oxford and Cambridge, Trinity College was founded in 1592 by Queen Elizabeth I and is Ireland's oldest university. When you enter Parliament Square, you'll be greeted by its centerpiece, the iconic Campanile, a bell tower sculpted in 1853. You'll also see Trinity's many beautiful buildings, like the chapel, the library, and the reading room. We came here to see the Book of Kells, located in the old library, which you must book ahead of time. The Book of Kells is an illustrated manuscript of the four Gospels of Jesus Christ and is over 1,200 years old. It is considered one of the most beautiful books ever written and is also one of the world's oldest surviving books. Due to light sensitivity, you are prohibited from taking photos of it. But there are public images, which we just showed, and there is an exhibition hall that focuses on many of its notable pages. The book itself is encased in a glass box and two different pages are shown each day. After checking out the Book of Kells, you'll soon be in the main chamber of the old library, known as the Long Room, one of the world's most beautiful libraries. This stunning vaulted space contains 200,000 of Trinity's oldest books, although they are in the process of removing them as part of a restoration project. The books themselves are arranged by size, with the largest near the bottom and the smaller volumes near the top. Researchers and students have access to these books whenever they want. Some of the more famous volumes in this library are Shakespeare's first folio and the first edition of the Book of Mormon. Even more notably, a copy of the Proclamation of the Irish Republic is here as well. Along the library shelves, there are 40 busts, ranging from writers such as Jonathan Swift, philosophers such as Socrates, or dramatists such as Augusta Gregory, as well as patrons of the college. This is the Brian Boru harp, the oldest surviving harp in Ireland from the 14th or 15th century, made of oak and willow. The harp is the national emblem of Ireland. Because the old library was the only library in Trinity College for over 200 years, many notable writers frequented here, such as Bram Stoker, Jonathan Swift, Samuel Beckett, and Oscar Wilde. Truly a remarkable place. Stay tuned for our next video at Christchurch Cathedral, and be sure to tune in when this trip's all released for a special full-length movie. Otherwise, we'll see you on the trails or in the water.